Hello, everybody, and welcome. My name is Connor Lynch, Director of Original Content with Westwood Media Center. With me, as always, in order to explain some of the goings on at the Council on Aging during the summer, is Lena Arena Teresa. Lena, as always, it is a pleasure to see you. Thank you so much for the time today. And thank you. As always, we love Westwood Media. And for those of you who don't know, we are now on Facebook, thanks to Westwood Media and their wonderful staff. So look at our newsletter, it'll give you the website and how to get onto Facebook and we hope you'll join us on Facebook. But thanks, Connor, summer is here and it's my favorite time of year. And it is warm out, it is very warm out. So enjoy it, enjoy that sunshine while we can because it's gonna snow next week somehow. <laughs> it's New England. Um, anyway, today I would like to tell people about what's happening at the end of July and into August. Um, so shall I start? Please do. Okay, so some of the things I wanna remind people that's happening at the end of July is on Monday, July 18th, we're doing something called Create Your Own Spices. Now, have you been to the grocery store lately, Connor? Because spices have gotten super expensive. And this is an opportunity to create your own spices. It is $12 for one jar and $18 for two jars. But I have to tell you, I just went and bought cinnamon and it was like $10 for a small jar. So mm -hmm. this is actually a good deal. Um, so if you're interested, we still have space. It's on Monday, July 18th, and it starts at 10, but you do need to sign up by for this Thursday because um, we need to let them know how many people are coming. On the 19th, which is one of my favorite things that we're doing, on July 19th, we're doing a virtual tour of Florence. Have you ever been to Florence? I've never okay. been to Florence. Anyway, it's actually going to be a, a native who's gonna walk around Florence and she is going to be doing, giving us an hour tour, which I think will be so cool. And then obviously, if we're gonna spend an hour in Florence, we have to have gelato because it's the middle of summer. So we will then serve gelato. You do need to sign up in advance. It is a $5 donation. And that's because the, we're paying, we will pay for the tour, but um, we need to also pay for the gelato. So that's why it's $5. Um, on the 25th of July, which is a Monday, we have the Mass Bar Association coming, which they come annually and they're fabulous. And they need to do your, you need to understand your legal responsibilities and it does change as you age, things change. So he does, he comes, he will come and he will give you some, some information and to update you on what your elder legal um, responsibilities are. So please, again, it's on July 25th. It's at 11 o'clock. If you're interested, please sign up so we make sure we have enough information to hand out to everyone. Also on July 25th, sadly, but truthfully, we are doing a, a conversation on Ukraine. It is at one o'clock. We're doing it at the library. It's with Henry Quinlan, who was a businessman in Russia for over 30 years. He's really good. He's really smart. Um, and what's going on in Ukraine is so horrible. But if you really wanna understand what's happening, he's going to give you sort of a historical background on what went on. Um, and now we're going into August, my favorite time. Please remember that once a month we have a nutritionist. She comes from us from HESCO, she's free, and she is at, she's coming on um, August 4th at 1.30. You can have a half hour conversation with her. She's really, really good. And if you're interested, please make sure you sign up because it does fill up fast. Um, we also, I want to talk about our veterans assistant program. We have an assistant that comes in, an assistance that comes in once a month, once a week on Mondays, and she comes from nine to two. Nancy Blanchard is terrific. She is a veteran. She understands veterans be uh, benefits. And if you are confused about your benefits, want to make sure you're getting all of your benefits and you're a veteran, she is your girl. So please, you have to sign up in advance. Call us, we'll get you her phone number and she will, she will make a time for you during the day. Again, she comes every Monday and we would love to have you join us because she's really good. And if you're a veteran, you deserve your benefits. Um, we have our cooking class. We're back at Powesset again on um, August 11th. Uh, that one I think is sold out, but call us because we do get on the wait list. And for all of these programs, some things sell out, and, but then again, get on the wait list because sometimes people cancel and then we can put you on it. On the 22nd, we have an FBI agent coming. She's supposed to be fabulous. She's new to us, 
but she's going to talk about scam prevention. We already have about 15 people signed up. We can have up to 20. We would love to have you join us again. How do you protect yourself as you age? Actually, how do you protect any of us with the internet um, on the 22nd? And she will give you tools and tips on how to, how to do some scam prevention. Um, we also on the August 25th, which is a Thursday, and we're doing this at the library as well, we're doing armchair travel. And this time it is with a wonderful National Geographic photographer. He's unbelievable. And he's gonna talk about Bhutan, um, the island of dragons. Um, <laughs> I think it should be really fun. Um, and he's really interesting and he's been all over the world and his photographs are to die for. And he, do, he doesn't just talk about his photographs, he talks about the culture and the history and he's really, really good. So if you're interested, again, it's on August 25th and it's at 10 o'clock at the library. Um, and then on the 29th of August, we have AARP coming here again, they come annually and they're doing a driver course. It is an all day course, it, we don't get any money. I think it's like 20, $25, I can't remember. But um, you have to sign up in advance and he's really good. And as you age, your driving abilities change. This isn't to get take your license away. This is to make sure that you keep your license and how, how things have changed and how you, as you age, can adapt to the changes that are happening as you drive uh, because you don't see as well and you don't react as quickly. Um, so this is an important class. If you're interested, you do need to sign up in advance. And finally, we always offer night vision class, glasses here. And the night, night vision glasses really work for a lot of people. They're $12. Again, we, pay, we don't make any money on this, but they're very yellow. Um, they do fit over your glasses. And for a lot of people who are driving at night and they find it kind of difficult with the, with the beams that are coming towards them, they find these really, really helpful. We always say, come buy a pair, try them. If they don't work, you can always return them, but they're $12 and we'd love to have you come. And finally, as I always tell everybody, I am a notary. It's my pleasure to notarize your, your important information. Um, so if you're interested, please give me a call. We can set up a time. It's free. It's my pleasure. Um, and I can notarize your important information. So um, that's what we're doing this July and August. What and I you, love, how are you doing? We are doing great. What I love to hear is that the Council on Aging is also partnering with different um, organizations. You have a wonderful partnership with the library in order to host some of your events. And I know you also do a lot more with other community um, organizations and whatnot. So um, I just think it's really great that seniors get that exposure to not only just what the senior center has to offer, but also going into places like the library and experiencing what they have to offer as well. I think that that's super crucial, especially in a time like Westwood. Thank you. And I have to say, we are very blessed because our partnerships are amazing. Um, and it really is. Westwood is a great town. We partner always with the food pantry as well. Um, so if you're food insecure, please give us a call. We'll tell you how to get in touch with the food pantry. Um, we also partner a lot um, with the state. We do fuel assistance. We do food stamps. If there's any kind of, um, if you need information as you age and you're thinking about moving, we can give you information on how to start that process. Um, the things you need to think about. Um, so we're here. We're here full time. We love hearing from you. We love you to come to our regular classes. We still have regular programs every day. We are open Monday through Thursday, eight to four and Friday, eight to one. So please stop by because we'd love to meet you. We'd love to have you join us. Um, we are warm and welcoming and summer is here. Get out of your house. Come join us. Uh, my last kind of point or thing to bring up is that there are people who like to always try to help out and things like that. I know with HESCO, Meals on Wheels and whatnot, um, and I believe before you've talked about monetary donations and things like that, but what are the best ways that people can kind of help fund some of the things that happen at the Senior Center? Great question. Thank you. Um, we can always take donations. Please make out checks to the Westwood Council on Aging, and please know that 100% of your donation goes directly to its programs or helping seniors in our community. Um, we are very, um, we're very careful about any money that is distributed to, or given to us. Um, we also work very closely with the Westward um, Community Chest. Um, they also are a wonderful partner. And if you're finding that there is a bill or two that you just can't pay, give us a call. We might be able to connect you with them um, because they also can help you. But any donation we love um, and we appreciate, make it out to the Westwood Council on Aging and we will make sure we deposit it and use it very wisely. 
that's it for my questions and everything like that. As always, I'd like to leave you with the parting words, but um, I'm going to get out of here, try to cool down a little bit in the heat and uh, enjoy the summer. So, Lena, happy summer. Happy summer, my seniors. It's my favorite time of year. Please get out, go for a walk. Um, come join us when you go for a walk. Uh, get, get outside. It's beautiful. Yes, it's hot, but I love the heat. So there you go. <laughs> Have a great day, everyone. Thank you, Connor.